Today's video is sponsored by Audible. Barbarians are one of my favorite D&D classes. Who doesn't want to play a character that's too angry to die? Or maybe it's the way barbarians solve problems. Violence, or more violence than I find so appealing. If you like barbarians, you need to download The Blade Itself for free with a 30-day Audible trial. Choose one audiobook, and right now you also get unlimited monthly Audible Originals downloads absolutely free. Visit audible.com slash allthingsdnd or text allthingsdnd to 500-500. And now what you're here for. How a land viking gave my party a run for their money. Hi everyone, All Things d d is back with another story. This is an NPC that is for sure going to be in my next campaign. Awesome name, awesome backstory, just pure awesome. Tell us about your awesome NPCs after listening to this one. So, I'm working on a few antagonists for my world, and ran a few players through a random one-shot to meet my new test NPC. Meet Helgor, the Brutal. Helgor is a land viking. Well, it's more a moniker. Our party was a paladin, druid, monk, mage, and rogue. You see, this tiny town started having issues with viking raids. Oddly enough, there were no oceans, rivers, large lakes, streams, or any kind of body of water that could conceivably support a boat. Our heroes set up shop in the town and scouted the area to find a longboat sailing on the prairie. At first glance, it looked like there were two sets of shields on the side of the boat, but upon closer inspection, the lower set of shields were actually wheels, with shields as hubcaps. The dragon-headed longboat belched out smoke and fire, as drums beat rhythmically, as screams of row filled the player's ears. The best way to describe this? A thing is, it's like those land crawlers from Star Wars the Jawas run. The closer the party got, they could see the boat used to be made of wood. There are parts from the original craft still intact, but it looked like metal plates were haphazardly bolted on, along with other contraptions. Our magic user's knowledge check showed it was indeed gnomish work, and it speculated these barbarian bandits had kidnapped gnomes and forced them to make clockwork constructions for them. The paladins' injustice senses were tingling, so they decided they were going to charge forward, storm the ship, and board it. With the paladin leading the charge, they thundered across the prairie. Their horses' nostrils flared as the party pushed their mounts. With each hoofbeat, the party drew closer to the land ship. You know in old western movies where the bandits come racing in on their horses chasing after a train? As they approach, they all hop onto the back of their horses and throw themselves onto the steaming locomotive. So picture that, except instead of a locomotive, it's the strange land boat. And instead of effortlessly jumping from their galloping horses onto the train, they failed. Spectacularly. The mage, cleric, and paladin were galloping alongside the boat, trying to get a hand on the railing, control their horse, and extract their feet from the stirrups. One of the crew spotted them, barked out a laugh, and rounded up the rest of the crew. They watched in amusement as the fumbling heroes flailed about wildly, before grabbing them and pulling them aboard. They may have been captured and embarrassed, but it wasn't a complete failure. They did manage to distract the entire crew, allowing the rogue and monk to sneak over the railing and hide. They were brought to an audience chamber, full of treasure and furs, kegs of ale, mead, trays of meats and fruit, and scantily clad women of various races are chained to the wall, tending to the needs of Helgor the Brutal upon his carved dragon bone throne. After rolling charisma checks, You realize we saw you about a mile back, right? Helgor said with a chuckle and finished a tankard of mead. He had one eye, grizzled white hair, and a beard that went to his chest. He stood almost ten feet tall and wore a full suit of heavy plate armor. I had to meet the idiot stupid enough to try to board my land ship, he cackled. I don't know whether to kill you or conscript you. I'd rather die than be forced to work for a slaver, the paladin said, spitting on the floorboards. Helgor's jovial face dropped, his cheeks flushed red with anger. What makes you so sure of that comment, boy? He growled. Anyone on board my ship is free to leave, even the ladies back there. They just understand it's better in here than it is for them out there. Bastard, the paladin said. The party was ready to throttle the player by then. Helgor stood and walked to the kneeling trio. He drew his sword, blade held high over the paladin's head, and swung. The tip of the blade passed within an inch of the paladin's nose before it severed the ropes that bound his wrists. Helgor tossed the paladin his sword and said, Let's test that metal you have then. And none of you interfere, he ordered his men. If I die, then you're to do what the paladin says. RNG gods were blessing our mouthy paladin. I gave this guy a 20 strength and 19 dex, enchanted gear, and the paladin, broken and bloodied, actually got the monster down to 0 HP. 
Everyone was in shock in the room. Helgor's face was filled with wild-eyed rage. Steam was coming from the cuts and holes in his armor, and he stumbled about. His men rushed forward to steady him and hold him still. Our cleric was patching up our paladin when Helgor screamed, You think this is over? He began to unlatch his armor. Bit by bit, the armor fell to the floor. The impact of some of the pieces of armor shook the room. You think you actually hurt Helgor the Brutal? Helgor the Pillager? Helgor the Unrelenting? Helgor grabbed a minion, who was blocking the player's view of him, and threw him across the room. Inside the armor was a tiny gnome, a ripped tiny one-eyed gnome with a beard down to his waist. The armor was a clockwork suit he had built. Helgor was adopted at a young age into a barbarian tribe and has become a roving bandit lord. Everyone failed their surprise check, and Helgor barreled at our paladin full speed and slammed into his stomach. Tiny chiseled arms lifted the paladin up over the gnome's head, and he slammed the paladin into the floorboards. Like a pro wrestling match, Helgor's crew let out an Oh! The paladin lost his grip on the weapons he was holding and was forced to wrestle this gnome barbarian. This is when the monk and rogue thought it was time to step in, and a brawl ensued. The party wound up KO'd and captured, the rogue failed to break them out of the prison, and the party was forced to walk the plank. Helgor does have a sense of honor and a twisted sense of humor. He had dropped the players off a few miles where they boarded. It was only a 15 feet drop into a shallow pond, something everyone only took a few points of damage for. Players were alright, but had been removed of their pocket change before disembarking and ended the session with Helgor laughing into the sunset with the party's on hand gold. Thank you for listening. Before we discuss the video, one more quick word about our sponsor Audible. Audible members can choose one audiobook per month, and right now also get unlimited downloads of Audible Originals monthly selections, which you can't hear anywhere else. Start building your audio library today worry-free, because with Audible, your audiobooks stay with you, even if you cancel your Audible membership. Sign up now! Get the blade itself! The narrator perfectly captures the voice of Logan Nine Fingers. I can't imagine him any other way now. Or get any audiobook you choose for free, and find the perfect voice to bring your favorite characters to life. And when you do, let me know what audiobook you choose. Visit audible.com slash allthingsdnd or text allthingsdnd to 500-500. Seriously, are you going to use Helgor the Brutal in your game? You should. We all should. Please let us know what you think and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel All Things D&D. Our next video will be posted in three days, so stay tuned for more amazing Dungeons & Dragons content.